Here's how to concatenate in Excel in four easy steps. We are going to combine these first names and last names into full names using the concatenate function. And at the end of this video, I have a nice trick for you that does it a little bit different. So make sure you watch that too. Step number one is to write concatenate and then open parenthesis. That's pretty easy. Step number two is to select the first thing you want to join. In this case, it's the first name. So select the first name over here and write a comma to separate the arguments. Now, step number three is the only thing that's tricky about the concatenate function, and that is the delimiter. And the delimiter means what comes in between the contents you want to join. So in this case, what comes in between the last names? How do you want it to look? So in this case, I want to separate the first names and last names with a space, but it could also be a dash or a slash or a picture of my face. But in this case, it's just a space and you write a space with quotation mark, space, quotation mark, and a comma to separate the arguments again. So this means that we'll put a space after the first name when we combine this into the full name. The fourth and final step is to choose the last part you want to join. So in this case, that's the last names. So simply just select B2 here, which is the last name, put a close parenthesis and hit enter. And now we've successfully combined the first name over here and the last name here into the full name here. If I wanted something else than the space in between, I could simply type it here. So I could replace this with a dash and then there would be a dash in between the names like this. I promise you another method of doing this. And before I tell you that, if you like this video so far, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks. Now, the trick I want to show you is that you actually don't need to use the concatenate function or any other function for that sake to do this. You can just use the ampersand method. So write an equal sign and select the first name, write an ampersand, then the delimiter. In this case, let's go with the space again. So quotation marks, space, quotation marks, and then an ampersand again, and then the last names right here. And that combines the first names with an space and then the last name. So hit enter and there you go. That's another way of doing the same. But there are actually a lot of ways to concatenate and combine stuff in Excel. And some of these methods are situationally even better than the two I just showed you here. And watch this video to learn those. Also, sometimes you don't even need to combine stuff. You need to split stuff. You need to split a full name into the first names and the last names. And you can learn how to do that in this video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around.